Yeah, so if you haven't seen it before, this right here, this is it. Yeah, so this guy, he's getting a, a new uh, seat as well. He'll be doing uh, some fixes and things. Yeah, but yeah, everybody's getting um, air ride seats. All right, so if you haven't seen it before, this is it right here. This is the uh, air ride seat, six position. Massage heated. That's the air ride base right there underneath. So um, let me go in and uh, get ready. Got the old seat out already. So I'm gonna start breaking this down and put that base on first. And put the seat on. And we'd be ready to make some miles and comfort. So we're removing those two bolts and then those two bolts right there. All right, so the uh, other three bolts came out just fine. That one rear and there goes the two front ones. They came out just fine. But this last bolt right here that's above the dev tank, it was uh, rusted solid in there. But uh, just as I uh, was talking about my one of my previous videos, that pro tip number 59 using transmission fluid, works wonder wonders definitely uh, broke the rust up and she's slowly but surely coming out so once again I'm practicing my own pro tips that I talk about all right so um, got the seat base out the old seat and everything cleaned up a little bit clean a little bit more before we put the air base in there goes the old seat so yeah, not too uh, not too bad. I'm taking this out except for that bolt. She was um she was in there pretty good, but uh, good old transmission fluid to the rescue. So yeah. All right, let me go get the air ride base on the new seat and start putting that back in. All right, see you guys in a, in a bit. All right, got the uh, base plate kind of mocked up there to the uh, mounting brackets. Taking the time to eat some ribs from this weekend. Also, I figure it's a good time to talk about pro tip number 115. And it's brought to you courtesy of Andy from YouTube. That's his contact. The contact for me, for him, that is. But anyways, um, yeah, it's coming up Memorial Day weekends this weekend. A lot of you guys are shut down early turn off that battery disconnect you know so batteries don't drain and um, what you want to do is don't do like Eddie did which was this right here that's right pro tip number 115 when you leave your truck for an extended period of time for a holiday or whatnot, and you turn that battery disconnect off so you don't drain the batteries, clean out your fridge as well. Or else when you come back after your long weekend and you think you're gonna make that six o'clock morning morning appointment, then yeah, forget about it. You ain't gonna do too busy cleaning out that fridge. Ask Eddie. That's what he did. But yeah, there you go. Pro tip number 115. Clean out that fridge. You're going to be shut down for a bit. Yeah. Anyways, let me get back to finishing my ribs here. And then I'll secure that. Uh, and then bring in the seat and put the seat in. Here goes the, well, right here. Here goes the two for the air ride right here. Plug that in. as well later all right let me get back to eating ribs these things are good anyhow that's the air ride seat ultra leather i went with two-tone it has six position massage 
lumbar and heat. They also make a version that has cool in it. It has perforations right there down the center. That's how you tell if it's uh, air cooled. But yeah, they also do all types of uh, seats, different different styles, different colors. They had a American flag type seat there. So yeah, so you can, as you can see, yeah, you want a logo, different colors. They can do it. Uh, Superior Seat in Elkhart, Indiana. I'll put a link and contact down below in the description. Ryan is the man to talk to. But this is fully loaded with the exception of the air cool. And there's usually a setup fee for the logo as well. But yeah. Just with the skirt around the base. I use a straighter valve on the end of the hose going to the air base. Once you just put a little bit of air in there, it holds it, so no need to have a constant air source to it. But yeah, it's nice and comfy. All right, you guys, uh, take it easy. See you out there on the road.